Teen-year-old Abdi Hakim has been running his family's electronic shop for two years now, and competition is tough. Given that most shops in this building in downtown Nairobi also sell electronics, but recently he has discovered a lower cost avenue to sell his goods, and turnover has been impressive. Uh, since uh, we got to the climax of our business uh, through Jumia, the sales have been around, uh, let's say, uh, total sales from, from my business. I think 60% uh, of the sales come through Jumia. When they find the right product, the right prices, they, uh, they make an order. They have to confirm if the person is willing to make the order. And uh, it comes uh, through, uh, to us uh, through a platform called uh, Seller Center. And then you prepare it for, for delivery. A rider from uh, Jumia comes to pick uh, the, the orders for that day. So after then, uh, the rider takes to Jumia warehouses whereby they start uh, making deliveries for, for the customers. Abdi is among thousands of vendors who have turned to the internet, now available on the phone as well, to grow their businesses. It costs them nothing to join such platforms, but they part with a percentage of the profit once a sale is concluded. They're not short of options when it comes to online platforms. Jumia, OLX, Kilimall and Rupu are among some of the platforms targeting the mostly 25 to 35 year olds taking a stab at e-commerce. A good number of them had tried online marketing through social networking sites. If you want to build a big business and you aspire to build something you know, meaningful and, and, and a long time, you see this as another like, major store for you, then I think you need to start working with the major e-commerce players, uh, such as Jumia, because you benefit from you know, websites that are designed for, to, for order management. So that instead of you having to, you know, to connect with each of the customers yourself and like find out where they live and double check what they really, you know, what they ordered is really what they want to order and payments, etc., we'll do all of that for the SMEs, and they just pro, you know, focus on, on doing what they do best, which is buying and selling. Jumia.co.ke has grown to about 10,000 vendors selling goods on its site in just over five years. Despite the rapid growth, Abdi says a section of the market remains skeptical about buying goods online. Challenges of selling uh, online, uh, let's say, generally are the, let's say, for the customers, the consumers are not that, you know, you know, they are not that quite uh, familiar with uh, making online sales. There's that a uh, little bit of trust, which is not even not a big issue, but you know, for some few people. And to come back, uh, specifically for me, uh, my my biggest issue, my problem I have with it, it has been uh, I was not, I'm not able to to you know cover the demand that I'm getting, the number of sales I'm getting through the online. The demand is uh, huge for me to cover. So those are the few issues um, we're having. Okay. Abdi sees a future in electronic commerce and is working to improve his stocks and meet online demands. Catherine Omwando, CGTN, Nairobi, Kenya.